Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. Now it's uh, day 12 of my vacation here in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, I'm staying at a hotel in Waikiki. And uh, yeah, I was fortunate enough to uh, procure some more beers to review for you all uh, yesterday. Now uh, what I have for you here is Red Horse Beer. And uh, it's been requested uh, by viewers um, quite a few times, uh, this one. Um, a lot of folks have been uh, keen for me to uh, give this one a review. And uh, the fellow that I remember first requesting it uh, was a guy called Heidelberg Cruz. And that was a good five or six years ago, uh, at least. So uh, if you're watching Heidelberg, I... Uh, finally got around to it. Now um, this comes in at 8% uh, uh, alcohol by volume and uh, yeah it's a really popular brand uh, in the Philippines and um, it's found its way stateside. Um, so I'm just looking at the back of the can because yeah it's um, of interest um, to you all you'll see why. Uh, Experience the distinctive full flavored taste of a world-class premium beer. Expertly brewed and packaged under the supervision of San Miguel Brewing Incorporated Philippines by San Miguel Brewery Hong Kong Limited, New Territories Hong Kong. Yeah, and imported by GK Skaggs Incorporated, Irvine, California. Hmm, for export only. Yeah, so um, this uh, one isn't actually brewed in the Philippines. Now, um, at the uh, liquor store I went to yesterday, they had a lot of these. So uh, yeah, I um, obviously pounced on it, um, knowing that uh, yeah, it is one that's been uh, requested quite a few times. So um, probably time I cracked open this uh, 500 ml can and um, yeah, gave it a review. All right, nice crack there. Not detecting any smoke. This will be the first time ever that I've tried it. Now uh, over the years I've heard uh, mixed reviews about this one so uh, I'm very curious. Okay. A nice pour there. So let's uh, get a look at the appearance. Wow. Well it's a very clear golden colour. Quite uh, effervescent. Um, a nice a thick white head. A little over two fingers there. Hmm. Onto the aroma. Okay. A lot of uh, sweetness there. Yeah. A lot of grain. Hmm. Smells um, quite enticing. And uh, yes, it is my first beer of the day. Let me uh, top that up. Okay. Yeah, interesting that they import um, the uh, this uh, version of it that's uh, yeah brewed under supervision in Hong Kong rather than uh, you know the um, yeah version well that's um, uh, brewed in uh, the Philippines yeah the real McCoy uh, I was going to say mm. anyhow um, time for the taste test let's dive in. All right, well, um, up front, yeah, getting um, a nice um, taste of bready malts. Uh, yeah, finish is very clean. It's crisp, it's refreshing. Yeah, there's no real um, offensive uh, yeah, taste about this. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little on the harsh side, uh, actually, or have some real sort of tart sort of uh, off taste to it um, but I have to say it, it's quite pleasant I'm really stunned um, yeah I mean considering all the negative reviews of it uh, that I've uh, heard over the course of time um, not just you know um, by you know rape beer or beer advocate or anything like that by people I know but um, yeah and, and taste wise uh, 
the uh, alcohol presence is quite well concealed. Um, if I didn't know otherwise, I'd have absolutely no idea that this was uh, 8% ABV. Anyway, um, time for another gulp. got that um yeah nice um manly beer flavor zing to it um yeah that um yeah i really uh really uh, enjoy immensely yeah it's definitely just a no apologies manly sort of beer um particularly um <laughs> given the abv yeah very tasty uh yeah the body is um yeah somewhere between medium and full um leaning towards full yeah it's yeah, I'm, I'm impressed I'm really quite impressed and uh, there's some nice lacing there on the glass uh, as well hmm now um, is it drinkable yeah definitely is it something you could session well probably not at 8% ABV you could have a couple of cans of this I guess and uh, feel quite pleasantly toasted as I uh, often say uh, as for the price point uh, <laughs> Yeah, I made a note to um, save the receipt when I purchased this um, down the road um, with, uh, what was it I purchased it with? The um, Natty Rush Watermelon Smash. Um, yeah, but I forget exactly what I, uh, I paid for it. I mean, a lot, I've lost the receipt somehow. I was looking for it before, but uh, if memory serves, it was quite reasonable. I mean, let's face it. I mean, the price you pay for beer here in the US, even in places like Waikiki, where they hike up the prices considerably is still extraordinarily good to an Aussie where, where you know, we pay through the nose, basically. We are just robbed. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, I think it's time to uh, have one last gulp and give this one a score out of 10. Well, um, all in all, it's not too bad. I mean, it's nothing earth-shattering. Um, I've definitely had um, much better beers in my time. But, um, yeah, I think uh, if you were to uh, stumble upon this and give it a try, you'd be pleasantly surprised. It ain't that bad. All right, so uh, I'd probably give this uh, brew, the Red Horse Beer from San Miguel, a solid... 8 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks. An 8 out of 10 for Red Horse. All right, well, uh, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this, and I'll be back again real soon with another review for you all. But until then, fare thee well, all. <laughs>